Let's talk a little about the so-called flexible display screens. This is the company's first to use OLED technology that allows the TV to achieve superior picture quality compared to current plasma and LED TVs. This is your very first look at Corning Willow Glass. This is actually a bendable glass that we will see in application soon. For those of you keeping score of the curved phone market, the arch on the G-Flex is different from the bend in Samsung's Galaxy Round, which has the left and right sides curving inward. Perhaps the defining point around flexible screens right now is who gets to flex them. Currently, it's just the manufacturer. For example, look at the Samsung Galaxy Round Phone or the LG Curved OLED Screen TV. Those are flexible screens, but they're flexed in the manufacturing process to create a fixed, curved final product. All of which brings us to the really big point, which is what is the point of a flexible screen? Right now it is looking fairly like a solution hunting for a problem, but there are several prospects. First of which is durability. If you've ever broken your phone or tablet, it's probably because the rigidity of its screen disagreed with that of a sidewalk. If your mobile device had a screen with some give, it might not break nearly as often. The next prospect is formability. The idea that the screen can be used to curve around a part of your body where a device is worn. You don't really want to take a slab-like screen and strap it to your wrist in the smartwatch era. Or for glasses that could be better contoured to your face. Same thing going on inside of car interiors. Look around and about the only thing left that is not some kind of an organic ovoid in the dash is that flat screen. It could be nice if it was more mapped to the car's shapes. And finally, visibility. This is going on right now, and I mean it in the marketing sense. Any product today, small or large, that has a curved screen is really standing out in either the retail aisle or on the web-based review page. But that isn't necessarily a functional attribute for you, the end user. Now, I'm not sure if we're ever going to be carrying a lot of screens you can roll up and fold and have them stay intact. Uh, the next big thing status of flexible displays remains somewhat up in the air, but it's a fascinating one to watch.